share my screen. So um, it's visible, right? Okay, thank you. Okay, so uh, we're going to have uh, a look at some of uh, the uh, functions found uh, in uh, Google spreadsheets and uh, some of the accounting terms that are present in the uh, turning do document. So if you have any question, make sure to raise up your hand or just uh, open your mic and speak. Okay. Give me one second. Okay, um, so let's start. So, um, Google Sheet functions are Percussions that are pre-written uh, formulas that per perform a specific calculation or help us with uh, manipulating our data. So they accept arguments. The arguments may be one, two, or multiple, and will return a result, one result. So that's the output. So the syntax that's used uh, when calling a function or when using a function is, we first type equal sign and then the function name and then the arguments. And then when we press enter, it will uh, give us the output. So, uh, so functions can be actually nested within another fu function uh, for complex calculations. Um, so some of the uh, formulas or the functions that are used uh, more often are um, or instance sum so equal sum and when we give it a range it's going to return the sum or the addition of uh, the numbers found in that range so average is uh, i think the name actually implies it so it find the average of numbers uh, that are found within the given range. That is the arguments, right? So um, the min max is actually uh, to find the minimum and maximum value of a number or a data set within a given or a specified range. So round is just when we have, uh, where when we are dividing or when we have a number uh, that is in decimal points, and we want uh, to have a specific uh, standard of uh, number or de decimal places, we can use round. So it's going to round with uh, two rounds. So it's going to round up our num numbers to two decimal places. And power function, uh, you are actually going to be using this one. So the power function is just raising a number uh, or base to specify to a specified uh, power or exponent. So the syntax is equals to power base then the exponent. So uh, when you want to find uh, two squared, you're gonna write or two cubed, you're gonna write two here, and for the exponent, you're gonna write three. So that's the syntax. Any questions so far on the functions? Okay, I'm going to take that as a no. So moving uh, to the accounting terms. So these terms might be, uh, you might be familiar with just to recap them. And so income means any, uh, any uh, cash inflow that is uh, made from selling uh, goods or providing services is called income. So the common, uh, especially for this uh, challenge, the income is uh, sales revenue. So uh, the cash inflow that is generated when we uh, when the when we sell the monthly subscriptions is the income. 
in the expense is actually uh, the cash outflow uh, that we need uh, or we pay in order to uh, generate the income or in order to operate. So the expenses should be related with the income. So expenses are uh, cash outflows that are uh, made because of uh, operations. So for our case, uh, salaries and rent and utilities and advertising costs are our expenses. Um, so uh, the income uh, growth rate and the expense growth rate are uh, so uh, as measures uh, the percentage change in income over or in expense over a specified period. So uh, on the challenge do document, the provided uh, income growth rate and the provided expense growth rate are for annual. So uh, if you want to use them. Uh, for monthly, make sure to convert them to monthly. Actually, uh, I think there is a conversion there, so make sure to use that, uh, check check it. And a positive uh, growth rate percentage shows a rise in income and a negative shows a decline in income. Uh, and the same for the opposite for expense growth rates. When it's positive, it's indicates rise in expense and when it's ne negative it shows that the expense is actually decreasing so it helps us this uh, he helps us to predict the future uh, trends and assets uh, and their impact on profitability for the expense uh, and for the income uh, so it shows how effective in generating uh, the strategies and predicting future income trends. So we we can use these two uh, rows rates for these purposes. So I have actually uh, included this uh, reference. So this reference is for, I think it's also found in the challenge documents. So this reference uh, holds all the functions that are found in Google Sheet. Uh, uh, so most of them, like 90% of them, you're not going to be using them, but if you want, you can go through them. So uh, that's uh, just for the introduction part. Are there any quick que questions? <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> any questions? Okay, uh, still no questions. So, uh, okay, let's try to see this one then. So you can see my screen, right? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so this is just the sample data set that I used. So as you can see, it's a yearly uh, sheet. So it's a yearly spreadsheet. So uh, for your case, uh, the spreadsheet is uh, divided into years and each sheet contains for each month. So, but this one is just for each year. So uh, for the year 2018, the income was uh, 15,000. And we expect uh, we expect a ten per percent uh, income growth rate, uh, but since this is this is just uh, for the first year, we we're not going to use it. So the forecast is only going to be the same, and the difference is zero, right? But for the second year, for two thousand eighteen, uh, the income was uh, fifty five thousand and we expected a uh, 10 percent growth rate right so uh, our forecast is going to be so you can see the formula here right so in the formula we wrote uh, so b2 uh, i selected this one so this one times multiplied by one plus this is the rate right the rate divided by 100 because it's 
it is in percentage, we need to uh, convert it into numbers. So uh, one plus uh, 0 0.1, which is 10%. So the forecast is also uh, 55,000. So the difference, which is uh, D3, right? Minus P3. So the difference is zero. So the forecast and the actual uh, income was the same. So the difference is zero. But for 2020, uh, the income was 60,000, but we for, for cuts, uh, forecasted that it was going to be 60,500. Uh, we just used the same formula as we used earlier, and the difference is 500 and so on. So this is just a sample of how you can find uh, the forecast and so on. So uh, I just wanted to show you some uh, of the functions that you can use. But if there are any questions, uh, especially if you have gone through the uh, sample data that's provided to you and have some questions, it is uh, better, I, I think. So the floor is yours. Yes, I've worked. Yeah, uh, on the formula. Uh, uh, we select uh, first, uh, we open the bracket and we add uh, is equal to side and the what you want uh, in the sheet. Oh, okay. three or B2. And the, the next one is what is uh, one plus uh, the percentage. What is one? Where yeah. comes one, number one? Oh, uh, okay. So number one is, it's an, an increase, right? So it's in an increase uh, income growth rates. So it's an increase. So uh, it's more than a hundred percent. Okay. For instance, for this year, uh, your profit was um, let's say a hundred, right? A hundred dollars, let's say. So for the next year, uh, your income was a hundred and ten dollars. So. When you cal calculate uh, the percentage, it's ten per percent, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, but when you calculate, when you find, when you uh, find the difference between the two, it's one point zero one times. So, uh, one hundred and ten is one point zero one times a hundred, right? Okay. Yeah, that, that's where the one comes. Mm -hmm. Is that clear or uh, is that... Not clear, I not understand. Um, okay. Uh, okay, how do you find... Okay, do, do you know the banking system? For instance, you, you take a loan and uh, there you calculate the, let's say, the percentage. Mm -hmm. So every year is going to uh, have a percentage okay, increase. One, one, is, one, can we change uh, can change one number all uh, in every year? No, no. One plus means it's an addition. It's uh, it's getting uh, added. It's increasing. Right. Mm -hmm. So one plus means a hundred plus. Right. Okay. More than yeah. Uh, like the one shows. It's given yet. It's already given. It's known, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, it's not. Uh, it's not something I added. It's already given. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Another question. Okay. Zero five. Right. Um, okay. Uh, so from the chat box, uh, the forecast as is forecast same as profit. So forecast is something uh, that we haven't already reached, right? So let's say uh, when you are starting a business, you might forecast for the next year, right? So you might say for the next year. 
I'm going to make this much money, right? But when the year actually ends, you might not make that much money or you might make more than that much money. So there is a difference. There is usually a difference between the forecast and the profit or the actual profit. So the forecast is uh, what you predict for the future. Oh, okay, Zoro file, you can do. Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, my question is, can we calculate the errors for both of individual months and uh, both, uh, three years of data or only for the year's data? Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't get your question. Mike, can we calculate the year data only or to, the, to check uh, the error? There is, there is a noise uh, on, on the background. Uh, I think that's why. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. It's good now. No, no. Uh, you can speak. Uh, it's better now. Okay. Thank you. Uh, to, to check uh, the errors, can we calculate the monthly data or uh, both of the monthly and the year data? Or, okay, for the um, for the errors, you are asking yeah. just to find the errors. So yeah. for the errors, you just have to find them uh, when uh, you see the change from month to month. Or uh, actually, one of the some of the errors are found in the formulas that are used. So yeah, make sure to go through uh, the sales of each month and see how they are changing. Okay. 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 Another question. We still have time, so let's use it. Questions, or is it clear? If it's clear, show me some thumbs up, and we can wrap up the quiz session. Okay, now to Laziz and Kilari. Okay, now for go on. Can you uh, show us again uh, how to calculate the difference? Oh, the, the, the difference is just uh, subtraction. Oh. Yeah. So it's just, you just select, you can say equals, and then select the two uh, sales that you want to sub 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 subtract. For instance, For here. For example, uh, okay. four, number four, 2020. Okay. Oh, so here you can see. Can let's just bring it here. Sorry. So equals. Uh, so you you want to subtract the forecasted mm -hmm. minus the income, the actual income. So just okay. press enter. And if you want to find the sum as provided in the, uh, I think it's already pro pro provided in the challenge do document or the challenge uh, data, the sample data. So you can say equals. If there are only two uh, sales that you want to add, you, you can just select them. But if you want to add a set of sales, just say sum and open a bracket and select the range and press enter and it will automatically select it. So is that clear? Uh, only the difference, the difference. Excuse me? The difference, how to calculate the difference? On a range? Yeah. No, no. Yeah. On the income, uh, on early income, on early uh, base. For example, yeah, our forecast is for uh, 2020 is uh, 60,500, yeah? Yes, and actually 60,000. Okay, 
Uh, so, so we here, we we subtract. Yeah, the D four from the B two from D four. So D four okay. minus B two B four. Oh. As I've uh, shown you here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. okay. Another question, or is it clear? Um, okay, I think it's clear. Uh, so uh, there, I, I believe there's going to be some uh, changes on the data that we have provided. So if you have uh, previously made a copy of it, uh, we will allow, announce it on the channel. Uh, on the broadcast, so make sure to have the updated one. Uh, okay, so Stan asked, uh, how do we go about fixing an error? So I think uh, when you find the errors, they are self-explanatory. So uh, when you find the errors, you're going to find how uh, uh, the mistake and you you can just uh, change it to uh, what it, it should have been so it's not a complex one so just look at the trend and find that cell that has a different formula or a different value when compared to the others so a different value means let's say we are expecting a linear uh, growth or uh, a linear uh, fold, but you might find an, ex an exponential one. So that's the error. So make sure to go through the uh, sales and lo lo look for the trend. And it's always speaking out. Yeah. Okay. Um, thank you, everyone. Uh, so if you have any questions, make sure to write on Slack.